Wilson, Ping Junior Solheim Cup opening ceremonies. I'm Claire Dow. Now, it's my honor to help tip off the start of this exciting week dedicated to the next generation of women's golf. Ping and the Solheim family have remained unwavering supporters of the American Junior Golf Association for four decades, sponsoring events, providing equipment to help golfers play their best, and celebrating with us on signing day as college golf dreams come true. In the 10th anniversary of the storied event, the best junior golfers from the United States will compete against the best of the best from the EU. The competition will promise history and feature legacy as it has for many years in our past. Now this week is showcasing not only rivalry in country, but also celebrating sportsmanship and camaraderie. Now ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome one of golf's most steadfast supporters, Chairman and CEO of Ping and Carson Manufacturing, Mr. John Solheim. It's great to be here for Junior Solheim Cup, and uh, what a wonderful location we have. Another very tough golf course. Some challenges for bo both teams. I'd like to thank one of the original LPGA members, Shirley Spork, for being here with us. And I'd like to thank Sylvania Country Club, Terry Stansberger, the club president, Roger Parker, general manager, and Jason Sculler, the head professional, for letting us play here and being here. There's some special people, too. Ava Lada, you put so much into this event, and we're having it. You know, she runs the set from the European side, and to get that team here, that wasn't easy. And thank you all for making it. Mark, I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name with the junior golf group that puts on so many events here, it just, when I say here, around the country, it just, they brought us to such a level that's phenomenal, and for them to host, host and run this event just uh, is an honor for, for King, for all of us in golf. It's amazing the number of players that come from these ranks that go on to the LPGA. And there's also an amazing number, I think in a, in a majority of the, the ladies playing in the Solheim Cup played here at the Junior Solheim Cup. It's just a dream come true for me and the Solheim family and all of Ping. But, uh, I have my brother Alan with us. I don't see Karsten, brother Karsten here. Um, but it's just tremendous. And seeing the flags go by, it's just wonderful memories. Wonderful memory of seeing my mother raise the flag at the Solheim Cup. It just, this is a place for memories and we're gonna make a lot. And because this is match play, not stroke play, these ladies have to hit a much tougher shot to win a hole. And it's it's playing at a level when you're playing for your country that is never, there's nothing close to it. So I'd like to thank you all for being here and enjoy, enjoy this golf. And ladies, go for it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Solheim. Now, golf supporters at every level are tasked with growing the game, and the LPGA does that in many ways. From supporting the LPGA USGA Girls Golf Initiative 
to negotiating more television access for top women's events. You'll see why it's different here at the Paying Junior Solheim Cup this week as girls represent their countries and fans witness a preview of talent just a few years away. The Ping Junior Solheim Cup seeks to inspire the next generation to leave women's golf better than they experienced it to honor the 13 LPGA founders who created an opportunity for professional women to live their dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, please help a warm welcome to LPGA Chief Sales Officer, Ms. Kelly Hein. of the LPJ and our Commissioner Molly Murkusaman, I want to thank everyone for being here today. You know, John said it best, this, this event has created so many memories over the years, and we want to thank him and his family for having the vision to create such an incredible showcase for the next generation of talent in women's golf. Um, I want to thank, um, actually, I want to thank Shirley as well. Uh, it's always a special day when you can be in, in her company and one of our 13 founders and all the inspiration that she's given us over the years. So thank you. And I want to thank our, our other global partners, Marathon and Rolex. You know, Dustin, Rolex has been here at every step of Women's Golf and Marathon for bringing us here to Toledo. We really appreciate all of the support and you'll see certainly a lot of support this, this week here in the, in the city. Um, you know, the Solheim Cup is such a special, special event. We created it back in 2002 together, and I was privileged to be working with Mark and, and Stephen on that endeavor in 02. And just to see the, the memories that have been created and all of the great players that have come through this event, um, these, these women up here, they're going to have a really special week. That was my takeaway from year one. We knew we created something special to work together on. Um, It'll be a week you'll never forget, and in large part to your two incredible captains, Renee Paul and Annika Sorenstam. I hope you soak every moment in and take all of their advice, um, because there's no doubt we are going to see you on the LPJ tour in the not too distant future. So thank you for being here, and we look forward to a great week. Thank you. With golf's return as an Olympic sport, comp competition staged since 1978 with the Ladies European Tour has come full circle. In Tokyo, nearly half of all competitors were LET players representing 18 different countries. 2015 Ping Junior Solheim Cup and 2017 Solheim Cup alumna Emily Christine Pedersen of Denmark finished in a tie for fifth this year. This year's Solheim Cup team fe features 14 Olympians, 14 players that also competed at the Pang Junior Solheim Cup. This week is developing the future of women's golf from around the world and it's making an impact. Events like this week are not possible without people who share the LPGA and AJGA's vision about the next generation. Sylvania Country Club is generous host this week and will be the second AJGA event the club has hosted. Sylvania Country Club is also home to the AJGA's Dana Incorporated Junior Open this past July ahead of the Marathon LPGA Classic. Other critical factors were conducting a junior AM to underwrite tournament expenses and make a generous contribution to the AJGA's Achieving Com Competitive Excellence Grant Program, which provides financial assistance to junior golfers who have the ability to play but lack the financial wherewithal to compete at the national stage. Quite simply, this year's hosts have outdone themselves. It's my honor to introduce the great leader who's been critical to the AJGA and Ping Junior Solheim Cup. Please welcome Sylvania Country Club past president, Mr. Dan Steinberg. Good afternoon, distinguished audience, and a very warm welcome from the entire board, staff, and the entire membership of Sylvania Country Club. First, I'd like to welcome and congratulate this group are the very best of the best young women golfers in the world. It's quite an accomplishment to have qualified for your respective teams and to represent Europe and the United States during this world-class event. I'd like to share with you that Sylvania Country Club is a very special place. Internationally known golf course architect, Willie Park Jr. built this course over 100 years ago. When he first came to this property, he walked around and concluded that this land was the finest piece of golf property he had seen in America. Additionally, our club hails as the birthplace of the Golf Course Superintendents Association of America, founded in 1926, and I wasn't here. <clears throat> in 1940, Byron Nelson won the Ohio State Open, 
and in 1954, almost 70 years ago, hosting the Ohio Amateur Championship, two young men named Ernie and Jack met right here for the first time. So, all of you, a very special welcome to you and your families, and we truly hope you enjoy your time in Northwest Ohio and at Sylvania Country Club. I'd also like to extend a special welcome to the captains and the assistants of both teams. Captaining the European team is another person who everyone will recognize by her first name. Certainly one of the finest professionals of all time. It is truly a pleasure to welcome Annika Sorenstam. <laughs> captaining our United States team is one of Ohio's very own, oh, <laughs> Renee Powell, whose career has been filled with incredible successes and has probably done more for minority and women's golf than anyone else. I would say that our young ladies are in great hands. Thanks to both of you for giving yourselves this special event. Next. I'd like to welcome and thank John Solheim and his family for everything they mean to golf across the globe, especially for these two events in Northwest Ohio this week. We hope you're enjoying your time in the Toledo area and thanks for everything that you do. Finally, three years ago, Sylvania Country Club, Dana Corporation, and the American Junior Golf Association began a partnership that has not only highlighted youth golf, but has raised over $300,000 for AJGA scholarship fund and local charities. AJGA is simply a wonderful conduit for, not, for our youth, not only in playing golf, but in becoming productive citizens in our society. We very much appreciate our relationship and their decision to ask Sylvania Country Club to host this prestigious Junior Solheim Cup. I hope that everyone here enjoys the next few days as Northwest Ohio becomes the mecca for women's golf across the world. Thank you very much. Finally, this week would also not be possible without the commitment of partners like Rolex and DuPont. To Mr. Dustin Longis and Ms. Alexandra Gasser and Rolex Wash USA, thank you for supporting women's golf around the world. Your involvement is critical to its success. Around the Now let's meet our players this week, shall we? Let's get a big round of applause for all of them before we do an individual introduction. First, we'll meet Team Europe. Now Team Europe has a remarkable leader who almost needs no introduction, but we're gonna try anyway. She's achieved at the highest level of women's golf, collected an impressive 72 LPGA career victories, including 10 majors and 17 LET titles. Now she's no stranger, yeah, let's get a, <laughs> we'll do an early <laughs> She's no stranger to the Solheim Cup. Her previous resume includes eight Solheim Cup selections with an overall record of 22, 11, and four. In addition to an LPGA legend, she's an AJGA tournament host and national chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Ping Junior Solheim Cup European captain, Annika Storensen. Thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, players, coaches, parents, and fans. Welcome, and thanks for being part of the Ping Junior Soham Cup. As a past player, vice captain, and captain of the Soham Cup, I have many wonderful memories and stories of a lifetime. I have experienced and seen golf at the highest level. This time will be no different. It's a true honor to be the captain of Team Europe in the 2021 Ping Junior Soham Cup. There are numerous players and people that I would like to thank. First and foremost is John Soham and the Soham family. Thank you for everything you've done for women's golf. It's such a huge support and for all those years and to create this team event with great history and it's going to continue to inspire the next generation of young girls. So thank you very much. And also I wanted to thank John Clark from the European 
Victoria for all his help. Without you, it would have been quite difficult. So thank you very much, John. We appreciate that too. We also want to express our sincere thanks to Dan Steinberg and the membership of Sylvania Country Club. We agree with you. This is a very historic club. We really feel welcome here. So thank you for us giving us a chance to play this wonderful course. I also want to thank Roger Parker. He's the general manager and golf professional, Jason Steller, and also Steve Brown and his staff, because the course is in excellent shape, and I know you worked very, very hard to get it to there. So thank you very much. And as we all know, tournaments like this could not take place without the support and the sponsorships. So I want to say to our friends and my longtime partner, Rolex, Dustin Longest and Alexandra Gasser, for your commitment to golf, and in particular, junior golf is perpetual. <laughs> to Becky Newell and the Soham Cup, the Toledo, Ohio community, we're very excited to be here. This is a golf-loving town, and certainly the state. For years, the LPGA has just played around the corner, and we've had tremendous support. To Alexandra Armas and her team at LAT, thank you for everything. And I just want to take this opportunity to wish good luck to the European captain, Katrina Matthew, and the European team this week. Then also, of course, I want to say thank you to, I think, one of the best organizations in golf, and that's the AJGA. We just love your professionalism and the constant effort to deliver the best tournaments week in and week out. Thanks to Mark Oscarson and his staff for all the hard work and the organization. You just guys are just fantastic. So thank you very much. And now it's time for the competition. And I would like to start by sending my best wishes to my new friend here. Captain uh, Renee Powell, you're a trailblazer and you're an influencer in so many levels. We are excited to go head to head with you and the US team. So good luck and we look forward to the next few days. <laughs> Behind the European team are some great people. They work hard, they are committed, and they're very dedicated. I would like to start by thanking the parents and the families of our players. The support, the love, the sacrifice, the give to help their daughters to get to this stage is really tremendous. And I can say, as a parent now, I know. <laughs> I also realize daily the effort and the unconditional love my parents gave to my sister and me throughout the years to be able to live our dreams. So we really appreciate the support and the continue, certainly through this week. And now to our leadership team. Nora Anger, my vice captain from Switzerland. I want to thank you for all your hard work and for being our translator. She speaks five languages. Okay. My husband, Mike McGee, a man with many roles. Thanks for all you do and your constant support. I'm not going to tell them how many languages you speak. But. To Eva Strömli there, Eva Lotta Strömli, with the LAT. I know they thanked you earlier, but I cannot tell you how much we appreciate your guidance and preparation for this week. You have worked so hard behind the scenes, and we can just tell you that the love and the passion you have for this is just so contagious. So thank you very much. And now for the fun part, and that's the team. We have a mixture of players. We have 12, as you can see, from eight different countries, and they represent Europe proudly. It's been enjoyable to get to know these young ladies the last few weeks. And as we've all experienced through the pandemic, it's been some challenges with regards to competing worldwide and the ability to connect in person. But I'm glad that we have technologies we've been able to connect virtually as a team. The last few days have been productive, getting to know the core, strategizing, and bonding. As a neighbor and friend of ours in Orlando, Lou Holtz, the famous American football coach, would have said to get the team ready, ability, is what you're capable of doing. Motivation determines what you do, and attitude determines how well you do it. We are all ready and excited to go tomorrow. So please, let me introduce Team Europe. Right here next to Vice Captain Nora is Helen Bream from Skutgard, Germany. She won three tournaments in 2021, including the European Young Masters, but also, she's described as a living sports Wikipedia. 
She knows more than Siri. <laughs> then we have Savannah de Boek, Brussels, Belgium. She won two tournaments and two runner-up finishes, including a win at the Belgian National Junior Championships. And when she was younger, she wanted to be a ranger to save the world. Now she wants to be a prof professional to make a lot of money to save the world. <laughs> Cayatena Fernandez from Madrid, Spain. She had two wins in 2021, including the Spanish Amateur Championship, and she loves to rollerblade. <laughs> Francesca Fiorellini. She's from all Rome, Italy. She had four wins in 2021, and her dad says she's a great chef who prepares herself breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day with local Italian ingredients. Constance Fouillet, she won the European Girls Team Championship and she won her first tournament at the age of seven and the prize was a bucket of lobsters. <laughs> Vairana Heck, also from Paris, France, she had two top three finishes in 21, including the French Women's Open. She loves to play badminton, so we can say she has a lot of touch. Then we have Amelie Letnissen, Copenhagen, Denmark. She's a two-time Ping Junior Soham Cup participant. She's our only lefty, and she has three sisters who all play golf, and I believe two of them are lefties. <laughs> Meja Uttengren from Stockholm, Sweden. She won the 2021 Annika Invitational Europe. She's a tough cookie. She played hockey as a young girl against the boys. Andrea Revuelta. <laughs> I worked hard on that one. Uh, from Madrid, Spain. She has three top three finishes in 2021, including the championship of Spain under 18. Andrea also goes to Ballet Academy to train six hours per week. Schulz Hansen, Frankfurt, Germany. She's also a two-time Ping Junior Soham Cup participant. She's an ice hockey fan who won the 2020 European Ladies Amateur Championship. <laughs> Nora Sundberg from Stockholm, Sweden. She finished second at the 2021 Annika Invitational Europe. When she made the team, I called to congratulate her. She didn't answer because my number was blocked but I'm glad you answered eventually. <laughs> then, certainly, last but certainly not least, Denisa Vodichkova from Prague, Czech Republic. She's the 2021 Czech Amateur Tour 1 champion. We call her the birdie girl because she once birdied 10 out of 11 holes in a round of 63. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2021 Ping Junior Soham Cup European team. Thank you. Thank you, Annika. Now let's meet Team USA looking for its seventh consecutive victory. The United States team is led by another LPGA legend. A true pioneer of the game, she was the second African-American woman to play on the LPGA Tour and compete in more than 250 professional tournaments. An Ohio native and resident, she continues to pave the way working to grow the game for women, juniors, and veterans, bringing her leadership and inspiration into this week's competition. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Pink Junior Solheim United States Captain Renee Powell. Thank you all very much and um, welcome everyone. Great to see everybody here, and, and we're so proud to, to have you here. And uh, I am so honored to be here uh, as the Team USA captain of, the, uh, of this, this year's Junior Soheim Cup. Uh, there are a number of people that I really want to thank. Number one, I want to th start off by thanking John Soheim. John, I appreciate your call. And it took me a little while to think about it, didn't it? But I'm here, and I'm so pleased and so honored to be here and the whole Solheim family. 
and Ping. Uh, you know, you all have done so much in changing the face of golf. You've done so much for, for women's golf, so much for junior golf, so we all owe you all a great deal of, of thank you. Uh, there are a few other people that I want to add to that thanks, and that is the membership and the staff of Sylvania Country Club and Don Steinberg, as president, Roger Parker, general manager, John Stoller, head golf professional, and Steve Brown, the superintendent who I actually met today, and I enjoyed meeting him because, you know, we always think about the golf pro as being the person, the main person, but my brother is also the superintendent at our course, and I always say, you know, we always say, golfers always say, it's too hot, it's too cold, it's too wet, it's too dry, it's too this, it's too that, and we always want to blame the, the maintenance crew and the superintendent. The superintendent is the most important person, I think, in a golf course. And, uh, and I also want to thank you, John, or Steve, for really getting your staff together and, and giving us an incredible golf course to play. And in such great condition. So let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> and a few other people are thanking John, uh, Dustin Long, Longest of Rolex, and Becky Newell, who I've talked to Becky a number of times, who is the tournament director for the Solheim Cup. And so we've gone back and forth uh, over the, the last probably six months. Uh, the Toledo, Ohio, the Ohio community, LET, LPGA, and certainly the AJGA, and Mark and your entire staff, who has done an incredible job. So I'm glad that I had such an opportunity to meet all of you. And that, I, you know, I, when I was growing up, my parents, especially my dad, my dad sort of took me around when I played junior golf. Once I got out of junior golf, my mom did it. Once I got out of amateur golf, I was on my own. But I think that, you know, the parents and the families do such an incredible job and, and they make so many sacrifices and are so supportive of taking uh, taking our young ladies all over the country um, and being able to compete, being able to compete at a young age. Uh, I also want to thank our, uh, my new friend here, <laughs> Annika Soros and the Team Europe. Um, and you know, it's, uh, it's, it's great that, that we can have these international matches. And thank you uh, to Ping for all that you do. And another person who has been such a stellar person in my life over the last, I don't know how many months, is Blair. Blair, thank you so much, who's my assistant captain. And, you know, Blair has worked for AJGA for eight years. And uh, when I came here, I knew one, one of my teammates. And Blair has really been the one I've been calling her and saying, okay, what about this person? Tell me a little bit more about this person, that person, and then reading through their entire, over the last three years, the things that you've done, but I could not have done any of this without Blair, so thank you so much. And then, I also want to thank Team USA, and tell you all that, you know, being here this week is such an incredible thing for you. I mean, you're going to look back on your life and see how special this week has been in the next couple of days. So really take it all in. My dad always used to say, you want to be like a sponge and soak everything up. And that's exactly what you want to do this week. Be like a sponge, soak it all up, enjoy it. And you're all competitive. So, uh, you know, you all know what to do. You're here uh, and just enjoy the week. You've made a lot of friends, I know, and I know you've known a lot of each other before you came here. And uh, so I think that, you know, looking forward to this week, uh, enjoy yourselves, and, uh, you know, we're out here for, to, to enjoy this game of golf, to enjoy this wonderful golf course. So please allow me now to introduce Team USA. First of all, we have Amari Avery from Riverside, California. A verbal commitment to the University of Southern Cal, four-time Rolex Junior All-American with two AJGA, AJGA events. She won the inaugural MAC Champ Invitational in 2021, hosted by PGA Tour professional Cameron Champ. Thank you.
Next, we have Anna Davis from Spring Valley, California. Anna is a 19th annual PGA Heather Farr Classic Champion, Girls Junior PGA Championship hosted at Valhalla Golf Club, and shot an incredible final round there, and she is the 2021 champion there. Megan Gane. And Megan is committed to Stanford. She's low amateur honors at the 2021 U.S. Women's Open and also a two-time Rolex Junior All-American. Sarah M. from Duluth, Georgia. Southern accent, right? And um, she's a six-time AJGA champion, 2020 Junior All-Star team and a Rolex Junior All-American. Katie Lee from Basking Ridge, New Jersey. And Katie is, has made a verbal commitment to Duke University, Royal Lakes Junior All-American, Polo Golf Junior Classic at Liberty National Runner Up, and two-time AJGA champion. <laughs> Alexa Pano from Lake Worth, Florida, and four-time Royal Lakes Junior All-American, second Ping Junior Solheim Cup appearance. So you're the only one that's been here before. So you'll have to sort of clue us all in on everything, right? And four-time member of the Wyndham Cup East team. Thank you. <laughs> Catherine Brown, 2020 Junior All-Star team member and the Rolex Junior All-American. Two top five invitational finishes in 2020, solo fourth at Rolex and Girls Junior Championship and tied for third at the Ping Invitational. Okay, and Catherine, Sh uh, Catherine Schroeder, Rolex Junior All-American, two-time AJGA champion, 2021 top 10 finish at the Diamond Resort Annika Invitational, presented by Rolex. <laughs> Bailey Shoemaker has made a verbal commitment to the University of Southern California, 2021 Kathy Whitworth Invitational champion, earned an exemption into the LPGA Volunteers of America Classic for her first, for her first LPGA start, and a Rolex Junior All-American with two AJGA wins. <laughs> Yana Wilson from Henderson, Nevada. The first AJGA win this year at the Sean Foley Performance Junior Championship. Uh, since her win in January, she has finished, not finished outside the top 10 in AJGA events including a solo second at the Under Armour Albain Valencia, uh, Valencia Bellazuina um, uh, Girls Championship and uh, tied for sixth at the Rolex Girls Junior Championship. And then we have Kelly Shu, who has made a verbal commitment also to Stanford University a two-time Rolex Junior All-American, three-time AJGA champion, 2021 Southern California Golf Association Women's Amateur Champion. And Avery Zawaiga, 2021 Diamond Resort Annika Invitational, uh, presented by Rolex Champion. Uh, she's followed that up with two top three finishes in her next two AJGA start. Uh, and Played in the Volunteers of America Girls Classic Girls Champion uh, Championship, and they're in her exemption into the LPGA VOA Classic. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 2021 Ping Junior Cup U.S. Team. And so now it's time for Annika to join me up here. Okay? All right. For our four ball matches for tomorrow, you gonna start off? Okay. So, from Team Europe, the first group is gonna be Andrea Rebuelta and Cayetana Fernandez. Okay. And our first group at eight o'clock will be Megan Gane and Amari Avery. Our next tea time at 8.12 will be Caitlin Schroeder 
and Bailey Shoemaker. will be playing against Francesca Spiolini and Denisa Bocicova. And the 824 tea time will be Kelly Shu and Anna Davis. From Europe, Vairana Hick, Constance Fuji. And for the USA will be Alexa Pano and Katie Lee. And they will take on Meja Uttengren and Nora Sundberg. 848 will be Jana Wilson and Catherine Rell. From Europe, Amalie Lett Nissen and Paula Schultz Hansen. Winding up the, the nine o'clock tea time is going to be Avery Zawike and uh, <laughs> got it and Sarah M. And from Europe, Helen Bream and Savannah Dubuc. Thank you so much, ladies. And thank you all for joining us for the 2021 Ping Junior Solheim Cup opening ceremonies. The next few days we'll have plenty of competition with some future rising stars, already stars right now to be honest. So I'm so excited to follow them throughout the next few years as I'm sure you all are as well. Ladies, have fun, enjoy every moment and represent your country as well. Best of luck, let's give them one more round of applause and thanks for joining us this evening. And I believe we're taking photos with the teams. So if you guys want to head that way. But again, thank you all for joining us. Have a great couple of days.